What is up guys, it's Soul Bash. Welcome back. Today we are playing a new game. This is called Puzzle Monster Quest. First off, you're probably thinking, Soul Bash, what the hell are you playing a match three game for? This is not a match three game. This is something fantastic. This game is brought to you from Kick9. If you know, we've previously done a bunch of work with Kick9. And also Kick9 is sponsoring this video. I want to thank you guys so much for doing that. Um, and basically what this game is, is you got a set amount of turns you have to move for each stage and it has different floor levels. Uh, so this one has three different floors, have different uh, pets and monsters that you can take with you. And you move along the specific colors. For instance, uh, we got two guys over here to the right. So we're just going to do a little bam, 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 bam. And we're going to do some hits on both these guys. Took them both out. We got a chest out of that. This guy comes down to attack. Now, we don't really have a whole lot of options for this one. So we're just going to move around a little bit just to get a little bit of a chain moving. And we did some damage. Took that one out. And now we are on this last little guy right here on this floor. So there are yeah, three floors for this one. We're going to chain around to this. And the more you move and connect them, the more damage that you're going to do to these things. So it's better to kind of try to plan ahead if you can. Because further into the game, this stuff does get a lot more complicated. Um, and they do do some like really awesome collabs the when they first came out they had an attack on titans collab so we do have some characters from that and let's see let's just shimmy over here see if we can't get close to this guy no so we're kind of gonna just gonna bounce around hopefully that guy will die yes he will and we only have one more up top now it's just bounce around him and that should take care of him moving on to the third floor now at the very last floor something really cool about this game is you're gonna encounter a boss yes that's right bosses are pretty much on the last stage of every one and each boss is different and this little thing right there on the ground on the blue one that is a heal so if you do get low on health you can run and collect that but you have to remember, you only have 20 turns left. There's no timer to this. You can sit here and think about this all you want. But for this one, we are going to go around on the red. And we're just going to jump in the middle of both of these guys and see if we can't take them out. And you see that extra damage I did there, the little slam? Depending on the weapon you use, there's different, I would say, patterns of the attacks that happen if you get a certain amount of chains. So let's go with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, you see how big the glowing like white is around everything? That's how big that extra move is gonna hit. And that's just on top of the extra damage that I'm doing while moving around. See, it was right there. Now, for other things that you have, like the monsters, uh, each monster has a different ability. This is like, a flash cross that causes damage let's see what else we have low fire damage uh we have a heal from this guy that's one of the attack on titans persons uh this one turns eight tiles around me blue so if i wanted to do some extra connections to make some extra damage i could do that this one's magic fire and of course you have your own skill as well i'm going to use this now keep in mind using these skills it doesn't take up any turns so you can sit here and use all these guys that you want. Check this one out. Boom. Didn't do a whole lot of nothing. No, I'm just kidding. All right, that turns the ones blue. So that's the heal. Uh, we don't really have much low health. Um, are we going to be able to hit him with this? Oh, we completely missed. So that's an X. Have to keep in mind that it has to be in the range of it. Nice hit for 1500 there on him. So he's a little bit over halfway dead and let's go ahead and turn all this blue that way we could just dance around him gonna be a lot of hits on this and i'm gonna dip down over here see you can move diagonally as well connect these chains can we max it out i want to max it out all right i believe that is max no 2.1 2.2 2.3 uh let's just keep it right there uh yeah he's dead already but after you get past so many, it kind of does max out. So 
it's it's cool and all but get as many as you can chain together because the more you chain together the better you do on it no deaths 100 percent hp left and we did it in nine turns leaderboard we're ranked four so there are rankings uh different people can see uh some of these it's mostly between you and your friends and what i mean by friends is there are a buttload of things in this game just aside from doing these now you do get rewards get experience for doing that get a whole bunch of materials from the chest that we got this is something new that looks pretty cool ah we can use it to forge new weapons so we can start working on hopefully forging some uh, three star weapons that's got luck on it nice we didn't get any monsters out of that got some friend points for taking a friend with me and these are some new items that we can use to forge and yeah i'll go ahead and take you to the forge to show you what uh you can do you can forge different weapons you see i've got all these swords that i could do you have axes daggers bows of course everyone's gonna have a depending on like i said earlier depending on what you use is depending on the skill that you're going to be able to use on your main character now on top of forging weapons there's a whole lot more to this game you can fuse equipment evolve equipment uh, there's so much i haven't gotten to yet it's going to be interesting to see and also there's different quests that they add in like this the event that's going on right now the galaxy dragon uh, it's available i believe from like one to three every day from the 17th to the 23rd so they do do different events if you like these type of games guys this game is pretty awesome uh we check the temple the temple now this is where you can use stuff that you get from your friends now the points you've seen the 10 points that i got I could use I currently have 1395 I can summon one let's see what we get and this is where you can get new monsters at we just got a rare and let's see let's go ahead and draw five see what we can get out of it I'm not sure how many more slots I have I may have to upgrade to hold some of these did we get a ultra rare no not that one Ooh. okay we got a rare and nothing's really spectacular all right we don't have enough to do anymore so we're gonna go back and the special that they're running right now is a ragnarok i have not done any of these these are some new ones we have 12 tries available so we're gonna try to sum them see if we can get something oh give me something good can be something good super rare oh that looks dope I love the art style for this stuff it just it may be a simple connect to different type of color game but this stuff is fun it's really awesome and I've had a lot of fun playing it recently and like I said there's still so much more like there's different tasks you can do daily sign-ins task book let's check out why what's new collect 30 monsters we can claim it get five followers as you just keep claiming because it exceeds the upper monster limit possession you cannot receive it okay so we are at our monster limit and what that means is let me show you right quick go back if you go to your cafe you can find your friends list and followers list and everybody that you're interacting with but to upgrade to be able to hold more monsters you're going to want to go to the monster hut and go to monster house this is how you're going to be able to level up you see we're at 35 out of 35 so we're going to have to add more you currently have five monster slots and 35 crystals all right we're going to add an extra one so we now we can hold 40 and let's do it again you know 45 let's just keep upgrading until we can't hold any more and 55 let's go with 60 that that's fine so we can hold 25 more than we currently have now so now we could go back to those and let's see this temple let's check it out now we can summon these we only have 10 left and it's whoa i like that i like the gold we got another super rare that is awesome now guys if you have any questions about this game please feel free to ask about any of this um i am somewhat kind of actively playing this now 
And as you can see, the quests, you can go single player. There's so many different things you can do. Uh, and at certain times, like you can see in Zone 2, it's using only half the stamina. So you could go back and farm stuff if you need to. And just overall, this game is really fun. So I'm going to jump into another match and see if we can't do this. And uh, here's the friends thing that I was telling you about. Normally, you would only have players. But if you have friends, you can take them in. You get more points for taking friends with you. So we're going to select... Um, Let's go with Muscle Man. He's got a pretty decent uh, guy there. And before you do go in, you have different slots that you could do. So different equipment, different monsters you can take with you. And I'm just going to go with my base one. It's going to cost five stamina. So let's start. And you can play the game for a very long time to begin with because stamina, once you level up, you get it back. And you can claim stamina three times throughout the day for free and I mean there's just so much they've added to it and it's constantly being updated weekly uh, so let's just jump right over here double chain gonna hit this guy take him out all right they come down they do move towards you uh, so let's see not a really whole lot going here can we get a chain big enough so we can't get a chain big enough right there so we're gonna just gonna stop on the other side of him that way I can just run straight through again and attack them if they don't die which it looks like they did we got a chest from that a rare drop chest at that that's pretty cool floor two all right so we're gonna make a big chain right here go over up over over gotta connect all of them if we can let's see if we can't catch some of this stuff Oh, he's just out of reach. That's all right. That's a pretty big chain, though. Imagine what kind of damage that would have done if it would have actually connected. We got a heal from ourselves on that. And let's just go back around. We're going to have to draw all these guys kind of close together. All right, they're all four really, like, right on top of me. This guy's not quite ready. Resets 53 tiles. So we only have eight turns left. Now let's just go right in between them again. We took one out and we're looking at just moving right back into him again. Not too worried about dying at this point in the stage. And I'm just going to move up a couple chains and hit both of these guys. And that should take care of them. Now we did get an egg out of that. The egg is the monsters. So after the match is over, it'll hatch the eggs and you'll be able to see. Here comes the boss again. And who will he have this time? All right, it's some kind of beedrill looking dude. And let's go ahead and get things started with what color do we want to go with? Now, as you can see, the colors at the bottom, I didn't point this out earlier. Each monster has a certain color. So depending on which tiles you move across, those monsters are going to be the ones following you and attacking with you on that tile. So we're going to go with orange, uh, not orange, yellow. And let's just move across here and we'll pick up this guy he should die because that was two of them i was bringing with me on that as you can see both followed me and they both attacked all right uh, no let's not go this way so let's try to figure out how we can connect all of these now if you go back you can go all the way back and just undo everything that you've tried but i'm going to go to the side we're going to go down across over and we're going to connect with all of it one point set times 1.7 and that takes that one out nice extra hit in from my pet and let's go up in the middle of all these guys and let's see if we can't take them out real quick now nothing really followed me into that one so we're gonna bounce around to the back side of this guy that's the boss I'm trying to take out his other little dude up here there we go did a good bit of damage on him as well and for the final, I'll just use my lightning shock. This should take him out. Does 1,500 numerous times. And did we get two more rare drop chests? We did. That is pretty awesome. So the game's very rewarding to play. Really fun. And if you like these style games, it is free to download on iOS and Google Play. And that's going to be it, guys. We're going to wrap this video up. We just leveled up. So that's pretty awesome. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. And I also want to thank, again, Kick9 for sponsoring this video. Like I said, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solbash. You guys have a nice day.